an organization is subject to pressures for change from far more sources than we can discuss here. Moreover, it's difficult to predict what types of pressures for change will be most significant in the next decade because the complexity of events and the rapidity of change are increasing. Let's take a look at forces for change. The four areas in which the pressures for change appear most powerful involve people, technology, information processing, and communication, as well as competition. There are many different forces for change that affect organizations. One major force is people. Demands for different training, benefits, workplace arrangements, and compensation systems are abundant. Not only is technology changing, but the rate of technology change is also increasing. More education and training for workers at all levels, more new products, products move faster to the market. Speed also impacts change. Faster reaction times, immediate responses to questions, new products, different office arrangements, telecommuting, marketing, advertising, recruiting on social networking sites, and so on. Advances in information processing and communication have parallel each other. Global competition means more competing products with more features and options, lower costs, and higher quality. Although competition is not a new force for change, competition today has some significant new twists. First, most markets are global because of decreasing transportation and communication costs and increasing export orientation of business. These four pressures can cause organizations to change in different ways.